Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Chavetz Chaim. Today he introduces a very interesting halacha, and that is, although we spoke about this entire time, that there's a mitzvah not to listen to what the Mesafet Lashon Hara, what the person speaking Lashon Hara is saying, sometimes actually there could be a mitzvah to listen to the Lashon Hara that is being said. And he explains, Sometimes it's actually a mitzvah to listen to the genus, to the disparaging reports, the Lashon Hara that is being said about someone else. Kagain, for example, Let's say that Reuven is talking badly about Shimon, and Levi is the one that is listening. He, he's Mishayah, he assesses this and evaluates the situation, and he sees by listening to what Reuven says negatively about Shimon, and he listens to it completely. Afterwards, he'll be able to demonstrate to Reuven, the one who's talking about it, maybe there's other people that are listening as well, the story that he said over about this negative thing about Shimon is not really the way that it happened, and is not really true, and therefore don't think badly about him. He'll be able to find some other schus, some other beneficial thing that he can say, that will prove that even though that you think that you are entitled to speak Lashon Hara about Shimon, nevertheless, he did nothing wrong, and therefore the person is listening to the Lashon Hara Levi over here, he will be able to quell and subdue the words of Lashon Hara and the opinions that people have of Shimon. V'ayit furthermore, he says, Yesh ayit v'nachah gam kein de mitzvah lishma, there's another way that it's a mitzvah to actually listen to Lashon Hara, kagayin, if Reuven comes to Levi, and he's complaining about something bad that Shimon did to him, and Levi understands the nature of Reuven is, that if he listens to the complaints that Reuven has about Shimon, he'll be able to calm down Reuven's anger against him. Right? Levi understands that Shimon is, is blew a gasket, as they say, and he's very angry right now with Shimon. So that's why he's saying all these terrible things. But if I, Levi, will listen carefully to Reuben, and I'll let him get it off of his chest, and I can calm him down afterwards, he can calm, calm him down, Reuben will not go and tell other people anymore what he's saying negatively about Shimon. And therefore, I just did a great mitzvah. Maybe if Reuben goes to somebody else and says these nasty things about Shimon, other people are going to believe him. So for me, Levi over here, listening to what Reuben has to say about Shimon, I'll listen and then I'll calm him down afterwards and he'll stop running around telling people these bad things. Because if I, if I leave it alone, so then when Reuben goes to tell other people about what Shimon did, they're going to be. They're going to listen, and they'll be makabel lashon hara, which means someone who accepts lashon hara is in big trouble. Obaze yisrabe hashalom biyisraelim. With this, peace will be increased amongst Klal Yisrael because I am nullifying or negating and pushing away the bad things that are going to be said and take place. V'zegam and he writes in Aga. V'zegam came bem es eitzah yutsa. This really is a good recommendation if Levi stumbled and he actually listened to the Lashon Har that Reuben was saying about Shimon then Levi should do anything that he can to rectify the mistake by finding every way to defend Shimon for what he did even though that Reuben's claiming he did the wrong thing find a a reason why he did what he did, find the justification and an excuse. And he should try the best that he can to take away these ill feelings that Reuven has towards Shimon. And then by doing this, Levi fixes the problem retroactively. Because even though that he listened to Lashon Hara, but now he found a way to wipe away the Lashon Hara. 
Ayin the Kaman Siv Yud Beis. We'll see later on. Tikkun the Mishnah Nichsha Mister Kabbalas Lashon Hara. Later on, we'll explain what a person should do if they actually listen to Lashon Hara. The calls that the stama. All of this is in ordinary circumstance. Avlim who makia zraya tiva shalem esnava. However, if Levi knows that Reuven is just a mean person and he's going to speak badly, she kol mashiach reyeh lechav zechus. No matter whatever a Levi will say to try to find a zechus, a merit for Shimon, who Reuven is talking badly about, who you got neil yoiser, then Reuven's just going to disparage him even more. Really, it's better for Levi to be quiet. Only afterwards, when Reuven leaves the crowd and the people that were listening are still around, you now should you should explain everything to the listeners as calling in the explain in a positive light so they'll understand that Shimon is not a bad person. And you should try your best to help Shimon remove from their hearts all the terrible things that they heard about him in order that neither he or the listeners will be labeled as makabli Lashon Hara in the world to come. That they should be considered to be a group of wicked people and people that speak Lashon Hara. So although right now, while Reuben is speaking, his spewing forth his Lashon Hara, it's not the time to talk, make sure that you rectify the situation afterwards. Have a wonderful day.